What's happening, fellow Bloom Poppin Maniacs? It's Boom Gun here, back so, with so another Bloom's TD Battles 2 video. And today I am rocking the same strategy I've been doing in the last couple videos, but today I've got something a little bit different. Today I'm going to, I believe, try and go a little bit later game because as you see, I now have the Buccaneer Mastery. So I am going to be utilizing that. Probably push um, some of the fifth tiers potentially, see how they go. Looks like we are actually going up against somebody who is also a <clears throat> Monkey Buccaneer Mastery. He has the balloons and he also sent us the emote. So that's kind of cool. Um, we are going to go ahead and drop down our Oban way down here. Our Oban doesn't really matter. We just kind of put him in our lineup because he is the featured hero right now. And I like some of the stuff that he does, like the yes. he puts sunglasses on and says like I'm looking good or something like that. I, I just I like it, so I'm rocking with that. So hopefully it's Monday today while I'm recording this. I'm hoping we get an update freaking soon. That would be awesome, Ninja Kiwi. Any day now would be amazing. If you guys also want an update, go ahead, drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what update, what part of the update you're looking forward to the most. Maybe Ninja Kiwi will be releasing a bigger update. Some of the stuff that they were potentially going to release, maybe they're going to be releasing in this update now. So that would be cool, but... We are still all just waiting, so not not the end of the world. We will we will be okay. We will make it. But so what I've been doing now with this strategy is I go with the cannon ship, middle path, and then I go towards a merchantman. And I, I've really been enjoying this strategy. It has been doing me very well. I don't think I needed to remove that. I might actually not be able to get my Merchant Man round six now because I removed that. But I wanted to try to avoid a little bit more leaks, which probably is not gonna be worth it. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop sending whites and send reds if I do wanna try to get my Merchant Man. So I'm not gonna be able to go under about, looks like 60, so about right there should be good. Now we got our merchant man with seven dollars to spare, and just before the round ended, so that's very good. We will go back to whites now. I'm going to go with an ace now, right here, and then we are going to go middle path, middle path, boat, and middle path ace are both really good. Very, very good. So the best part of this strategy is the flavor trades part of it. That's what I tend to do the most. He's trying to send me regent or yeah, regions for some reason. I don't really know why. They're not gonna do anything to us. He's just wasting his monies. The black balloons don't really seem to affect cannon ships like it does the bomb shooter. So I think black balloons only affect like mortar and bomb shooter. I could be wrong, but that is how it seems recently. So he is boosting region zebras at us for some reason. It's not really gonna do anything. Like we have pretty solid defenses up. I'll just upgrade and go figure eight on my ace and should be Gucci. Should be more than good. And I think he should be able to defend camos with his cannon ship, so I'm just not even gonna try to do anything there. And I am going to get my alchemist down right here. And this is what the merchant guy, I'm gonna make my merchant man. So leaving him right there. Or flavor trade, sorry. He's already a merchant man. I think I go another merchant man right here. 
think that is my strategy. And I'm done ecoing. I usually stop ecoing around 12 with this strategy. So right when there's camos, I'm usually around like anywhere from 600 to 800 eco. And I'm pretty good from there. And then I like to go the flavored trades route. And so the cool thing about uh, the flavor trades is like it increases the I think it might increase the value of itself. We're gonna learn that this game, but I think it potentially decreases the value of itself or increases the cell value of itself as well. So that is very huge. He's sending us region ceramics, so it's not gonna do anything. We don't have to worry about those at all. And we will get up our flavor trades now. Come on, come on, right before the round. Good, got it before the round. So 8,500. So when I upgrade my other Buccaneer to a Flavored Trades, we will see if it's still 8,500. But I do believe it is. I'm almost certain it's, it, it does increase the value of itself, which is very cool. Because that means, so 2,400, it's basically $6,000, 6,100 to upgrade uh, or to sell. Like the, the difference between these two is 6100 and then flavor flavor trades is 7000 and right at the end of the round you get a thousand so it'll basically be a hundred dollar value automatically so we're at 8500 let's see so it does yep it does increase the value of itself let's just go ahead and boost here increase our alk and get up another ace right up here we will go Never miss targeting on him. And so we've now got two flavored trades. We will do a round 19 rush and we will be more than fine. We will be very good. But yeah, that's awesome. So they does, wait, oh yeah, right. Cause I have the grape shot on this one. But yeah, it does increase the cell value of itself. So that is very big. So we are gonna go a couple of buffs here. We're gonna boost again. Might as well drop another Alk up here. And I think we are good. Yes. So now next round we fall out and we kill this guy. Send out all four to five Moabs. And then region, rainbow, zebras behind. GG. Too easy. That's how you do the Monkey Buccaneer flavor trades, boys. We got, and honestly, the Alk Buccaneer Ace is like surprisingly like so good. And it was weird that, that like we actually went against somebody else with Buccaneer Mastery, um, but we did. And unfortunately, I went with my round 19 rush like I usually do instead of going late game, but... I, did, I am playing this one on the mobile device, and it's, it's just what is what it is. So I think we'll hop into another one. Um, no, actually, I think I'm just going to call it there. Do probably try a different strategy or something. But th I've been having such good luck with this strategy. Uh, I, I, a big part of it, too, is people don't really know what to do against you. Like, they are so, so many people in the, that play this game are used to one strategy. And if you change that on them, they do not know what to do. So if you kind of master a strategy while playing against meta players, like you know all the tricks. Like you know everything that hurts you and um, also hurts them. They only know what hurts them. So a lot of the times they'll try to turtle and they have to eco really hard to go late game. And you can take advantage of this by push or doing that round 19 rush because people tend to over eco because they always want to turtle late game. So I'm telling you guys, you don't always have to go late game against Dartling and Sniper and Ninja users. Like, Just try these rushes. Try to figure out how to be super efficient with your money and if you're just more efficient with your money, that is how you win this game. You get good enough defenses and you get a money advantage and then you send a rush that your opponent can't handle and when the towers are all even like yeah we have ninja it's a little bit stronger late game sniper gets money a little bit quick too quick 
dartling handles rushes too easily like but the thing is is they're not impenetrable they're not undefeatable they all have weaknesses and they're all able to be exploited so just got to keep playing the game figure out what works because it doesn't seem like we're getting an update anytime soon but game's still kind of fun i haven't been playing too crazy even though i have so many mastery towers i just that was my 1200th game played which is kind of cool um and i actually look look at that i got a five game win streak with this strategy like it's it's insane and i i don't switch my strategy each game i usually just go one strategy until i master nine out of nine one of them and then i'll usually switch it up a little bit but that's why like right now my using this strategy i just hit monkey buccaneer mastery ace i've got the sarbamba and i'm eighty thousand away from getting to mastery and then with the alchemist i am 606 xp from balloon master alchemist and then another thirty thousand from mastery so after those three i'll be monkey village Super Monkey, Sub, Heli, Mortar. Heli's actually really close. I think Sub's really close too, yeah. But mainly Heli, or I mean mainly Mortar, Super Monkey, Village, and Glue. The rest are pretty darn close. Dart, dart's a little bit off. Uh, it's it, it, I've almost got a fifth tier on dart, but mainly, like I said, glue, mortar, super, and village. Glue next next update is going to be pretty nice with the buff. Mortar I haven't really tried. Um, that's just something I've just been kind of waiting on, but it does seem to be pretty good. Uh, I think Boltrix and like Super John Bombo both have been using that recently. And then Super Monkey, this just costs. It takes so much XP, so. That's what I'm thinking is like the last tower I'm going to use or like I'm going to go for the mastery for. Um, but yeah, I'm almost there. <laughs> 1,200 games in. Uh, I don't ever go to round 30 or in plus. Pretty much always round 20, 24 or under. And we, that's why I think we only have, what is that? Three, three, 30 million, it looks like. Yeah, 30 million, 515,000. 374 balloon pops and i bet people that have that go late game probably have like half the games i've played but probably more balloons popped than me because i don't go late game i, I play in the highest arena possible while going only like round 19 round 20 and that's because i play a lot on mobile and i like to play different strategies so if you enjoyed the video if you're still here that's absolutely insane there's no way you're still here right now. I'm just talking to myself, putting this out into the existence. But if you are, drop a like, leave a comment down below. And I guess what's that other one? Oh, yeah, subscribe. That would be amazing. And you have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.